Hey guys, hope you're well. This is Imran from Imstech and this is the second tutorial on jQueries and this tutorial we're going to be looking at how we can select different parts of our code using jQuery and we'll add a little bit of CSS as we select the different parts and just to recap on what we did during the last tutorial um, last tutorial we used the script reference script uh, tags to reference our uh, jQuery and that we downloaded and then we went on to actually add an alert which was the, the hello world alert so just to show you guys what we did if I pressed F12 there and you get a pop-up message that says hello world so that was a basic um, basic tutorial on how to use jQueries so okay um, this tutorial I'm going to go and just to show you guys uh, everything is ab absolutely the same as the code we worked on last les uh, last tutorial the only difference is this time I've changed this line here so from the alert uh, hello world section I've just put in this so we've got the pound sign open um, open the brackets and then I've got the p tag inside dot css border and then we're going to add a particular border and that is just to show us um, the effect so hopefully um, I'm going to be selecting all the paragraphs that are inside just to show you guys this piece of code inside design view so I've got three unord three unordered, unordered lists um, or one unordered list and three uh, list objects there and also I've got five paragraphs so I'm hoping that when this document is ready this function is called and this function will actually put a border around all my paragra paragraph tags so hopefully let's press F12 and see if this runs so as you can see all my paragraph tags I've got a a gold border 10 in uh, 10 pixels thick yep so that's the first thing so if I wanted to now change this to and from an ordered from paragraph which is this one here if I change it to um, a UI which is unordered list sorry it should be UL F12 and then we've got one um, border around my unordered list okay so if I wanted three um, borders around each part of each list list object so if I press LI type in LI and press F12 so I've selected the different part dif the three list objects that are inside the unordered list Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add, add, add a little bit of CSS to this and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight my first list and I'm going to press this button right here which is new CSS rule and I'm going to give this rule a name and I'm going to call it red and it's a class and I'm just going to attach it to this particular document press OK and all I'm going to do is just put the color red inside and press OK highlight that and give it a class of red I'm also going to give one of my paragraph tags a red I'm going to make another one for blue um, so press the plus button class BLU -E, and attach it to this object and again just put the color blue inside and then highlight my object and put the color blue using the properties panel so okay going back onto the code you can see I've got a style sheet now which is um, inside this particular uh, HTML code and the classes have been submitted um, to the specific um, parts of the code so okay this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and see if I can select specific parts so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these square um, brackets inside I'm just going to type in the word class C L A. SS and hopefully what this should do is it should put, pick up the two classes and put a border around the two classes inside the unordered list so if I press F12 now so you can see the two um, list objects that I've got classes attached to them uh, they've been selected and we've attached a CSS border and the ones that haven't has has been left out blank okay so the next thing I want to try is I want to be more, even more specific and I want to be sort of I want to pick out a particular um, class 
color so I want to say okay only the red class inside the list object so if I type in equal red F12 fingers crossed this works and there you go so the the red one was selected on this particular occasion yep um, what I can also do is I can just type in the P tag and then use the colon and type in first and what this should do hopefully is it should select the first paragraph um, inside my document so if I hit the F12 you guys can see that only the first one has been selected and, I, and the same thing can happen with the last if I hit the F12 there, and it also works with odd and even so I'll just try odd so you can see the odd ones have been selected okay um, and you're probably wondering well 2 isn't odd um, it's actually an even number the way that um, uh, coding works is it starts with the number 0 so 0 is technically a number so this is the 0 one and then this is the second one in our case we refer to it as the second one but it's actually uh, c coding language is the, the first one so the odd ones which is 1 so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 yep so that's uh, a quick insight into how to use jQuery to select different parts of our code and um, this is just a bridging tutorial so it's sort of preparing you for something a lot greater a lot uh, more cooler um, check out the first tutorial if you if you sort of want to know how to do the alert tags hopefully I'll create another tutorial later on um, take care and oh yeah comment rate and subscribe